Good morning ladies and gentlemen. As you can see the sun is nice and bright this morning. Yep. That's so true. And we are going to try and make our way down into the border. Yeah, first we got to go through this booth up here. Try and make our way in there. Yeah, they charge us for using this bridge up here, so we got to try and get in here. And of course people are always racing through here. I seen a couple of guys yesterday like unbelievable how fast they race through this area. It's like not even funny. Take her easy man, there's a lot of people in this area, you know. Not only people walking there, they're you know parking over there and then they're coming back into this lane, you know, like relax guys, you know, like why do you gotta be in such a big hurry that you can't slow down to go through a parking lot like this, you know? <clears throat> but hey, I guess some people are always, always in a hurry. But anyways, we're making our way down up to the border. Yeah, I'm gonna go up Ambassador Bridge right now. And as you can probably tell, I didn't leave bright and early. And I said, you know what? Apparently these guys yesterday didn't care to clear me bright and early. I had to purposely wait till I was out of hours to clear my border. I said, well, I have to spend the night here anyways. I said, you know what? I'll forget about being in a hurry too this morning. I didn't even set an alarm clock. I just said, forget it. If you guys don't want to work hard for me, then I don't work hard for you either. Goes two ways, you know. It doesn't just go one way. But anyways, here we are crossing the Ambassador Bridge. So I guess we'll see you guys on the other side. We're not supposed to film too much here, so they get upset if they see us doing that, so. so we'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys, we have crossed the border a while ago already. Yep, now we are in London, Ontario. That's right. I'm going to go up here to the uh, Flying J and uh, we'll go get some go, -Go juice. I am down up to the red already, so we need to get some go, go juice, that's right. Yeah, it's starting to get a little cloudy out there today, but uh, so far it's not doing anything. Yep, here in the next exit is where my... Uh, I gotta take this exit for that fly and J. Yeah, and then we got another hour and three quarters up to uh, Toronto. And you know what's going to happen when we get there? I'm going to go to Master State. That's right. I am going to go put my butt over there by Master State. Yeah. That's right. I haven't had Master State in a good while, too. Well, it's time to go have us a good meal at Master Steak, right? What do you guys think? Is it? I think it is. Oh yeah. So, let's take this exit up here and let's go to the Flying J and let's put some go, go juice in here. I haven't filled up at all yet since I've been in the US. Made it all the way from home up to here. So that's pretty good, I would say. Still don't have no reload offer either. I guess today is Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, 
today is Wednesday. So I guess today is going to be a bit of a slower day. I wouldn't be surprised. Meters. Turn right on. They wouldn't have anything to late tonight. But that's alright, I guess. I started late so I can pick up late, right? So... You can see the Flying J over there. It doesn't look too busy over there. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go. Yeah, this is a nice Flying J up here. They got pretty good parking lot over here. Pretty good size. In 600 meters, turn left on Wilton Grove Road. Only problem is their food is really expensive. If you want to eat here in the restaurant, it's very expensive. You better have a deep pocket in order to eat up here at this Denny's. They probably charge you 30% more than they would at any other Denny's restaurant, maybe even 40%. Oh well. I guess just because they can. They know that truckers can't really go anywhere else and eat. I mean, there is a Tim Hortons down there, but that's a good walk over there. And a lot of drivers are too lazy, I guess, to walk over there. Yeah. Anyways, let's go fuel her up over here and then uh, I guess see what happens from there. Alrighty, guys, we are now leaving this fly and J. We finished fueling her up. Yeah. Yeah, that's about 815 liters worth of fuel. That was 215 gallons. That's right. That's quite a bit. Continue on this road for 140 Oh, fuel. That indeed it is. And we got some other great news. If we will be able to stay on this load that they have just given me a load offer, then it looks like I'll be home Friday around lunchtime or just after lunch. That's what it looks like right now, so that's fantastic. That's fantastic news. I just really hope they're going to keep me on that. I really hope they ain't going to change that plan on me. That would be fantastic. I would be home uh, Friday night, Saturday. And just do a reset and go again on Sunday. That would be awesome. Because uh, I've had lots of time off here lately. So uh, we're going to start working a little harder again here in the next little while. Yeah. It is time to put some good effort into it. That's the plan anyways. Start working really hard. Start trying to get back on track. I've spent so much money into my truck lately that I'm broke. I have a few dollars, that's it. But uh, yeah. We're going to have to start working a little harder here in the next little while. I spent a lot of money there at the truck show. And, you know, a lot of money is wasted there, you know. I mean, not really wasted, I guess, but... You lose a lot of money just in sitting there all, you know, pretty much four days that I sat there. And then that Monday that I wanted to work, I pretty much sat all day because the load wasn't ready. So I pretty much lost five days worth of work over there, you know. So and then I just went home from there and I took another two days off at home because the family missed me as well, you know. But now it's time to put her back in gear and get some good miles in. Well, it looks like that truck is having a hard time getting up to speed. So we're going to get in the center lane so we don't have to slam on our brakes all of a sudden, you know. But yeah, I'm happy, happy now. A little cranky there yesterday evening and even this morning I was a little cranky because of the way things turned out yesterday with that 
border crossing, but now we got it all straightened out. I mean, we did still decent miles yesterday. I mean, we did have 913 kilometers in yesterday, which is not that bad, realistically. I think it's like 580 miles. So it's not the end of the world, but uh, I was kind of shooting to get to uh, Toronto yesterday night. They could have had me a steak last night. But that didn't work out. But we're gonna still gonna take the time to go have us a steak today. I guarantee you that. Should be in Toronto by two o'clock. Do a quick trailer switch over there. Half an hour, we're out of there. Get down to uh, the Husky up there. We'll quickly have us a steak. Should be out of there by about 3.30. 3.30, I would say we should be out of there. We should start heading out of Toronto. But anyways, let's make our way down there. See what we will be able to show you from here to there. All right, guys and gals, we have now gotten to Toronto. Yep, I already switched my trailers here at the yard. Now we are making our way down to Master Stake. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 401. We're gonna go Toronto. have us a quick bite to eat and get us highway a good steak. And then we are off to going home. That's right. Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't eaten anything all day today yet. It's already one o'clock in the afternoon. So we're going to quickly go over there and get us a good old steak. A much needed steak. Way overdone steak. Or way overdue for a steak. That's what I meant to say. That's right. We haven't been in here in a good while, like I said earlier, so let's see. It looks like they got that stretch under construction up there again. A little bit of traffic up here too. Yeah, we gotta go to the next traffic light. That's where we gotta make a left-hand turn. And then we're gonna go to uh, the Husky. And then we'll find us a parking spot and then we quickly run over to Master Stake. Unless there is lots of parking in there in that actual Master Stake, I might take my chance and run in there, but generally I don't do it. I generally don't do it. See, this is where Master Stake is up here to the left. Right here where you see that red building. Looks kind of quiet in there. I could actually run in right there. But you know what? I'm gonna do that today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for some good steak. You can see we got a salad over there, and this is my uh, steak right here, porterhouse, 24 ounce porterhouse. So I'm hungry. How about you guys? Let's get to eating. This is it, guys. We are now back on the road. Traffic is starting to back up a little bit, but it's still not too bad right here going eastbound I guess yeah it backs up a little bit over here usually anyways because this is where uh, on ramp comes on to and I have to basically get into that right lane there too because that's the exit lane there that I have to take to get on to 400 yeah I have to try and get in there somehow too Hopefully somebody will let me in. Yeah, hopefully somebody will let me in. All right, there we go. No, we got somebody letting us in. Thank you very much. We'll give you a thank you single. Yeah, once we get onto this uh, 400, we're usually pretty good. It's usually this stretch of highway where it could cause us some problems. And this is the express lane that we're in. And the one that you see there to the right is called a collector. That's where all the uh, 
local guys start coming onto the highway and that's where you can get off the highway too so that way you always know you have to get off the highway way in advance to take your exit so that way on this express lane there is no not a lot of on ramps and off ramps so it makes it generally a lot smoother with traveling but as you can see we got four lanes right here and it looks like they got three or four lanes over there as well mind you this right lane is being going to be exiting here right away but yeah it's a big highway that's for sure but anyways figured I would show you this a little bit since we are in Toronto and it's daylight yeah you always get to slow down up speed up and slow down you almost always get this almost all day long at night you may not get that too much but during the day you can almost always expect to get a little bit of a slowdown somewhere at 300 meters slide right up highway and you would think because it's a big highway like this you would get that right yeah no it's a big big city so you're gonna get that that's for sure but here we are taking that ramp to get on to the 400 once we are on 400 we're starting to leave toronto and then we're usually in the clear usually especially by this time of the day it's not too bad going up to 400 anyways still early in the afternoon i mean it's only 3 11 local time anyways it's 2 11 our time so it's still not too bad but come 4 35 o'clock oh i bet you there will be a lot more traffic on this road oh yeah So let's get on down the road and we'll see what, able, what, what else we will be able to show you guys today. Well guys, gals, we've been cruising here for a good while since we left Toronto. Yeah, that sun is starting to go down it looks like. So it's probably going to be dark here very soon. But we are still continuing on cruising along here. And I think we're going to go up to uh, Sault Saint Marie. I think that's where we're going to call it a day. And about two more hours to go. But then again, we might not. Who knows? I know there's one more place that I can stop at, which I don't really like to stop at, but maybe I just will. Who knows? We'll see, I guess, when we get there. But, uh, yeah, we've already been uh, through Sudbury. It's already all done with. And here we are. Just giving her. Already got 822 kilometers in today. That's a pretty good day worth of driving. I think so, anyways. But yeah I kind of wouldn't mind stopping here pretty soon I'm starting to get a little tired and on top of that I mean we're already done 500 miles so if I stop right now it would be all right would have a pretty decent day but I guess we just can't stop just yet got to find a place to park in too, right? Can't just park anywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm still full from that steak that we had earlier. <laughs> oh, that was an awesome steak again today. I ate the whole thing, man. I was so hungry that there was nothing left. Nothing. Oh, that was good. Awesome. Awesome steak. Best steak I've had in a good while. But yeah, as you can see, that sun is starting to disappear over there in the distance. 
before you know it, it's going to be dark again. Well, what can you do? What can you do? It must get dark, right? Let's see here. Blind River is 69 kilometers, Salt St. Marie is 206. So Blind River is kind of where I was thinking about. That might be about where I might just call it or quits. But we'll see how full it is when I get in there. There is still some room in there. I might just pull in there and call it a day anyways. I don't really have to drive really late anyways because uh, I can easily make it home by Thursday afternoon. And then we'll just be home for a little over a night and then uh, Friday morning we'll leave to go to Regina. Yeah. I'm hoping that they want to give me a quick turn around from there go maybe go to Yorkton and bring a load back to Steinbach that would be awesome uh, yeah not much traffic out here today nice and quiet I like this time is the best time of the year I think nice and quiet not too many campers out here not too many vehicles out here the roads are good generally just an all the way good time to be out here, I guess. But, uh, I guess we'll just continue on cruising along here. And if we are able to show you anything else after this clip, then that uh, probably is going to be very interesting. Or, or it will be at the end of the day and we'll close the video. Alrighty, guys and gals, we are done for today we have made it as far as iron bridge ontario yeah i was gonna go try and get down to uh south st marie but uh hey we got tired right here and we found us a good parking spot right here not much for parking but we found us something and so i said you know what that's it we're done we're calling her a day right here. That's right. So, I figured, well, I'll finish off my uh, video today. I don't even think I'm going to be rendering it. I'm so tired, I think I'm just going to go straight to bed. That is a good day, though. It's been a very nice mileage day today. I think so, anyways. So, uh, yeah. That's about it guys. So I guess leave us some comments down there below and uh, we will try and answer them. And uh, don't forget to rate this video up. Give me a big fat thumbs up and uh, share the video. If you liked it, somebody else probably did or would like it as well. So with that being said, let's come back tomorrow to my channel and let's watch my tomorrow's video see what we're going to be up to tomorrow we're going to probably go through these mountains up here here on the highway 17 we're on highway 17 so you might get to see some nice sceneries up there so stick around for that tomorrow so come back so we'll see you there have a good one bye bye <laughs>